Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Prevent the Fall. Prevent the Fall is a VR game for the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. It's available on the Steam Store for the normal price of $9.99. However, it's currently on sale for $1.99. I originally reviewed this game back in 2017. And back then I gave it a positive recommendation. I believe I paid $6 back then. And obviously now in 2019, this game is a little bit dated. In fact, there's much better dungeon crawlers in VR now, including Carnage Chronicles, VR Dungeonite, and a couple of others are much better than this game. However, my question is, is this game worth $2? In other words, is Prevent the Fall worth $2 now, given how dated it is? And the simple answer is yes. However, you do have to accept certain limitations this game has. Uh, in order to enjoy it. So first of all, the graphics are dated, so the graphics are not as good as uh, other dungeon crawlers. And the second thing is the combat. The combat is not as good as modern uh, dungeon crawlers. Uh, the good thing about Prevent the Fall is that there are several levels to enjoy. Um, some of them are uh, procedurally generated, and I guess they're a mix of procedural generation and handcrafted. So there is a lot of, quite a lot of content here. And the UI is kind of clunky, so let me explain the UI a little bit. Uh, first of all, you press A or X on your touch controllers to bring the, the uh, menu up. And as you can see, you can press your uh, options here. And the important thing is on left VR movement to go ahead and choose D-pad controller. For right VR movement, you choose rotate. For VR ability gestures, you can turn that on or off. I do recommend having it on because the ability gestures are fun to use. And video, I have mine set to medium because I'm on a 1060 GTX, but you can change that as well. Now, if you want to change auto target, you can disable it. I like it having it on just because I do feel it's a little difficult without the auto target, but it, it's up to you. And the audio, you cannot obviously turn down the music. I already have it turned down quite a bit so let me just turn it down a little bit more. There we go. And to get out of it just press A or X. Uh, with storage uh, you can store items. Uh, as you can see I have uh, level 10. That's probably an upgrade. That's an upgrade and that's an upgrade. So I want those items. I do have some of this stuff stored so you can see my storage there. And you can click on this or you can click on the chest itself to close it. So we have the merchant. Now we don't want to sell anything right now, but we are going to sell stuff a little bit later. So let's go ahead and go to our equipment. And we do want to equip this. It's level 10. It's much higher than our level three. Okay. So you can see the level three is now uh, in inventory versus the equipped. The bloodstained sword is a lot better. Wow, look at that. So we're going to up upgrade that. And we don't have a staff of stone, so that's going to uh, be equipped. And let's go ahead and close this. And let's go to the merchant and sell these items that we're no longer going to use. Okay. Uh, let's go to our talents. And we have 12 talent points to spend. So uh, let's see what we want. We want in improved magic generation. Yes, that's always useful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have zero talent points left. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. And uh, every adventure starts the game, you talk to the barkeep and you know, basically you need to go, I'm looking for adventure. So uh, any other rumors, we want a more difficult uh, adventure. Have anything more difficult? Vanquish the Skeletal Sorcerer and Skeletal Knight in a subterranean fortress. Oh, that sounds like fun. So let's go. I'll go take care of that. I'll handle this solo. And we're going to start our adventure. Wow. I've never been to this uh, particular one. So we have our shield here. And we, there's different weapons we can use. Let's go ahead and start off very simply with... Ooh, a Staff of Stone. Ooh, nice. Sorry, never never seen that one before. Let's start with, ooh, Bloodstained Sword. That looks awesome. Okay, let's start with that. So Sword and Board, very simple to start off with. Now you can see the graphics are not the best. Enemies seem to pop in out of nowhere sometimes. 
So you can try to do some of the gestures. Ooh, awesome, okay. So we're gonna keep this for a little while just to test it out, maybe clear out this uh, floor and then change weapons. We definitely wanna get rid of this skeletal archer though, skeleton archer. Okay. Now the thing to note is that when you're out of combat, you do re regenerate everything. Your stamina, your health, your mana. So you want to keep that in mind. Uh, I don't know a quick way to use your potion. I don't know if you're supposed to just press options and just use it from there. But I haven't found a quick way to use potions. Although I rarely, very rarely need to use them. Let's go ahead and change weapons. Let's use a Staff of Flames. And let's use... So if you want to heal, I'll show the little animation for that. Hopefully we lose some health so I can show you. We want to lose some health on purpose. So yeah, so that's, that's the heal, <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Oh, we did a gesture there without even knowing. How did I do that? <laughs> I wasn't even trying to do that. That was pretty cool though. Uh, let's try the Staff of Stone. I haven't, this is a new weapon for me, so I don't know, uh, ooh, granite skin. Ooh, the roots. You see that? That's awesome. Oh, nice. The roots. I like it. I like the roots. Now, it does waste a lot of mana, though, so I don't like that. I'm still trying to figure out how to do the iron skin. Oh, I think I did iron skin there. Okay. completed the quest. That wasn't that difficult actually. So uh, yeah, this is a prevent the fall. Uh, basically the way you, you do exit is just go to the menu and click on exit. You leave after three seconds and you just start another adventure. So I'm looking for another more adventure. Any other rumors? Anything more difficult? Uh, so yeah, we don't want that. We saw that at first. So any other rumors? Anything more difficult? So let's go ahead and look at the crypt. So I'll go take care of that. And we just want to see the crypt. Uh, this is basically the end of my review. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, there's different levels with different bosses and different quests, although they're all pretty much the same. It, you know, I haven't really noticed much variety in the quest. It's either go and kill this or go and collect this. That's basically the quest. But you do get loot and all that at the end of the, of the quest. So it's pretty fun to look at. Uh, I didn't look at my inventory, uh, so let's go to equipment. And as you can see, we have a new staff, level nine. So it does more damage and school. So we want that. Okay. So again, click to. Okay. 
Okay. So, uh, yeah. I do recommend this game. It is fun, but you have to accept the limitations. You know, the combat can be a little... Funky, huh? Did I show any of the summonings? That's something that I might have uh, used to show. So let's go ahead and show summoning. Let me show a summon undead. There we go. We summoned a skeleton pet. All right. So I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift, Rift Reviews. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. I do recommend Prevent the Fall. I think it is fun for two dollars. I think you do get value for your money at two dollars. Thank you. Goodbye.